All right, so today's lecture is the second one about Opsfeld and Rogoff's six major puzzles in international macro. So to remind you of what we've done already, uh, we talked already about the first two puzzles, home bias and trade, and the feldstein heroika puzzle. So uh, if you remember the way that those worked, um, trade costs can explain uh, home bias and trade. That one's kind of direct. Okay, so what's the name of the game here? We want trade costs to sort of explain everything, all six puzzles. So of course, if you have very high trade costs, you're gonna consume more of your home good. Uh, that one's kind of direct. So one is kind of direct there. Number two, so if you recall, this feldstein heroika puzzle is sort of about why if you save a lot, you tend to also invest a lot. You know, so the correlation between national savings and national investment is very high. Uh, you know, what's, what's causing that? You think people should diversify across countries um, when they're investing. So we shouldn't see this relationship between high rates of savings in a country and high rates of investment. Um, so how does trade costs explain that one? Well, when we put this into a model, what you see is that trade costs mean that under some situations, when you want to borrow, you face a very high real interest rate. And when you want to save, you face a very low real interest rate um, abroad. So uh, it leads people to not, uh, not want to invest abroad, basically. If you want to save abroad, you face a very low interest rate. If you want to borrow from abroad, you face a very high interest rate. So trade costs do that there. All right. So today we're going to talk about these remaining four puzzles. And the reason we can only talk about two puzzles uh, in the last lecture, and we're going to talk about four puzzles today, is that really only puzzle three really takes any sort of serious discussion. So um, puzzle four is going to be basically just appealing to the solution to puzzle two. These are almost the same puzzle, really. And then five and six, which are also very closely related puzzles, we're not gonna we're gonna we're gonna say kind of the way the trade costs would affect these puzzles, but we're gonna be very hand wavy and just talk about intuition. Um, and here we're not being hand wavy relative to the paper. The paper itself um, is sort of hand wavy. It says you know this is an idea that can work, but really needs to be spelled out more more clearly in in future research. So. Um, Let's see here. So I think it would be smart to pause here before we move on to uh, the next puzzle. So I will stop this video and make a new one, even though this one's very short.